Freedom Scientific, a Vespero brand. Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us. We are going to be talking about today JAWS Power Tips for Productivity, both at work and at play. And we are going to start out by talking about the new notification history feature. So if you haven't checked it out yet, you will definitely want to check out this feature. It's the new notification history feature in the June update of JAWS 2022. You can use it in JAWS Infusion. And here you can get a list of Windows notifications and notifications from your various applications. And in addition to that, you can customize how you want those notifications to appear, how you want to hear them with JAWS, how you want to read them with your refreshable Braille display. So I'm not going to demo this in depth here, but I will tell you that there is an FS Cast episode where Glenn Gordon did a wonderful uh, demonstration. Our very own Glenn Gordon did this last month. So go check that out, the FS Cast page. And then also Jonathan Mosen did a great demonstration. And we will be talking about this feature, you know, even more in the coming months as it continues to be enhanced. All right, so you may remember a keystroke that we previously included in JAWS where you could have JAWS read the last notification. And that was insert space followed by the letter in November. Well, we still have a keyboard command for that. It's changed slightly. It's now insert space, shift, and the letter in. And that will have JAWS read the last notification that you received. Now, when you press insert space followed by the letter in November, you will get a list of Windows notifications. So I'm gonna do that now, and we're just gonna kind of talk through this dialogue, and I wanna talk about a few of the things that you can do. So I'm gonna press insert space. space. That gets us in the command layer. I'm gonna press in. Notification history, recent notifications list box, two participants raised hands. All right, so now we have a list of notifications that we can navigate with our up and down arrow keys. And this list can hold up to 500 notifications. If you don't have 500 notifications within the last 24 hours, it's just gonna give you uh, the last, the notifications you've received within the last 24 hours. So if you've received 500 notifications in the last eight hours, that's all you're gonna see. But if you've received 100 notifications in the last 24 hours, that's what you're gonna have in this list. And again, you can navigate it with your up and down arrow keys. I'm gonna press down arrow. Valerie made the webinar has started. Zoom 11:59 a.m. So it tells you the notification. It tells you the application there. It told us that the webinar had started, and we're in Zoom, and it gave a time for that application. You can easily jump to the end of this list with Control End. New notification from Outlook. You can also jump to the beginning with Control End and Control Home. Two participants. All right. Other things you can do here, we're gonna navigate this in here in just a second, but I also wanted to show you how to access a context menu when you're on a notification. If you want to quickly do something here to customize that, you can press Shift F10 or the Applications key. I'm gonna do Applications. Applications, context menu, create rule, dot, dot, dot. And here you can create a rule, and this is how you're gonna customize your application. I can down arrow now. Don't show in history, dot, dot, dot. And that is where you would go if you don't want to show this notification in your notifications history. And again, it's going to bring up a rule when you do that. All right, so I'm going to press escape. Escape, leaving menus, recent. No now, just to kind of quickly move through this dialogue, I'm going to press tab here to navigate. Enable rules checkbox checked. So here we have rules enabled, and that's enabled by default. We're going to leave it there. Create rule, dot, 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 button. That's where you go to create a rule. Manage rules, dot, 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 button. That's where you would go to manage existing rules. And if you don't currently have any created, then uh, that option won't show up. Close button. All right, there's a close button. Recent notifications list box. And we're back to our recent notifications. So I just want to briefly talk about creating a rule. We're going to tab to that option. The create rule, dot, 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 button. And I'm going to press the space bar. Space, create rule, receive notification. So here you could create a rule for things like you're going to get all kinds of notifications here in Windows, like Outlook notifications, messages you receive, maybe on, let's say, in Microsoft Edge, you have a notification for when a page loads. It might say loading complete. It might let you know when your page is loading. 
you have notifications for words, just a number of notifications. So I encourage you to navigate through this list and see what all you have here. So we're here in the rules dialog and we're not gonna create a rule, but I just wanna touch on this briefly. The first thing you have here is an edit box that contains the text of the notification. And that's the text that you hear when that notification comes in um, by default. So I'm gonna tab. Limit the notifications from Zoom checkbox checked. So here you can choose to limit this rule to notifications from Zoom or not to do that. Speech or sound action, speech action combo box. Here's where you get to choose what you want to hear. So for example, and we're not on this notification right now, but for example, if I have a notification that tells me that loading is complete for a web page, say an edge, I can determine whether I want to hear that notification. So the first option is mute. And if I choose that, it's not JAWS isn't going to speak loading complete when I load a web page. Shorten. If I choose shorten, I can type in text that I want to shorten it to. So maybe instead of hearing loading complete, I want to hear loaded. Play sound. I can hear a sound instead of hearing that notification. Speak the full message. Or I can hear the full message. Now, this is an important distinction here. So if you don't create a rule, you're going to hear the full message. But maybe you want to hear the full message, but you don't want that displayed in Braille. So this is where you can define what you do here. So if we keep it on here, full message, and then we tab. Braille action, Braille action combo box, show flash message. Here we have some options for Braille. So we have show nothing, show nothing. And these are just combo boxes you can arrow through. We have show nothing, show flash message, show a flash message, which is just going to display on your Braille display for a few seconds. Show shorten flash message. That's where you can shorten it. And that those are the options that you have. And from there, you can tab. Braille action flash message colon don't show in history checkbox not checked. So here is a checkbox for don't show in history. If you don't want to see this notification in your notification history, you can check this box. OK button. And OK is how uh, what you know you're going to enter on OK to create that rule. OK, so that is just a rundown of rules. We're going to escape. Escape notification history. And the same for manage notifications. You're going to get a list of notifications. You'll have options to modify or delete those, and you can modify or delete those rules that you created. Freedom Scientific, a Vespero brand. To stay up to date on upcoming webinars and training events, complete the sign up form at freedomscientific.com forward slash webinars. Thanks again for connecting with us.